Don't make mine. I need a ginger ale. And this is my hero's journey. Beetlejuice, it doesn't matter what he promises you. Looks like it's time for another adventure. Open the gates! What's up guys? So today I am reviewing the Danby Atom Smart Projector. Now this is a native 1080p laser projector. It supports 4K decoding with HDR10 and HLG and is pretty jam-packed with lots of features. Furthermore, this is a high-end projector and it's coming in at around 899 US dollars. All right, so let's quickly run through the specs. So this is a laser DLP projector featuring ALPD, which stands for Advanced Laser Phosphor Display, which is the most advanced fluorescent laser technology on the market, giving you higher color accuracy and a wider color gamut. Lamp life is 30,000 hours. Brightness is 12,000 ISO lumens. You've got a native 1920 by 1080 resolution, supporting HDR10, HLG, and this can also play back 3D movies. You've got official Google TV and all the certifications that come with it. So full HD streaming should work across the board. Now the projector does have two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. You've also got five gigahertz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.1. You've got an advanced four-in-one smart adjustment. So it features autofocus, auto keystone correction, automatic screen fit, and also auto obstacle avoidance. There is also safe dimming for eye protection. This supports digital zoom. Maximum optimal screen size is 180 inches. And this does have built in two times five watt Dolby speakers. All right, so the first thing we're doing is testing out that fan noise. So standing right next to the projector, you can expect a fan noise of around 33 to 35 decibels. And if we move one meter back, the fan noise does drop down to around 30 to 33 decibels. So projector has a pretty silent fan. All right, so we've got the projector all set up. We are just under three meters away from the wall in front of us, and we're projecting close to 100 inches. And the OS is, of course, official version of Google TV. Most of you should already be familiar with Google TV. Navigating the menus, general performance is very good. You can see you've got shortcuts at the top for your apps. And then you've got lots and lots of recommendations on what to watch next. At the top, you've got your menus. So you've got categories for movies, TV shows, apps, so you can download more apps. And of course, this is going to have the Android TV version of the Play Store and most of the popular mainstream apps are there for you to download. You've got a library section where you can see all your purchases and your rentals. Okay, the first thing we're gonna test is YouTube streaming, and I'm gonna open up YouTube from within the remote control shortcut. So here we go, one, two, three. I pressed it, and you can see YouTube is loading in the background almost immediately. Now the lines on the screen or any rainbow effect that you're seeing is got nothing to do with this projector. This is simply my camera giving us these horrible effects. In reality, the picture quality is absolutely amazing. All right, we're going to do a quick voice search, test out the Google Assistant button. Uh, we're just going to press it once. 4K video. And you can see voice searches work great. You don't have to keep the button pressed and it picks up your voice nice and clear. We're going to start off with the usual Costa Rica demo. And the maximum streaming quality supported on YouTube is 1080p60 with HDR. Let's see how it plays. Okay, so I've just paused it on the lizard as I usually always do. Okay, just gonna have a closer look at this image. You can see all four corners are looking sharp and bright and clear. The lizard itself with a close-up, there are there is no pixelation whatsoever. Um, colors and contrasts are also looking very good. Overall image quality is sharp and beautiful. All right, I'm gonna briefly switch on the light to show you guys how the projector looks in the daytime. And even with the light on, the image quality is looking really nice. So this is a quick side-by-side -side with the light on and with the light off, just so you can see the difference. Okay, so let's go ahead and play a few more trailers and see what this thing can do. Public support for the moon mission is rock bottom. Every day, something is breaking. Must 
Don't lick mine. I need a ginger ale. <laughs> Uh, get a ginger ale and no, that's me, Colt Sievers. And this is my hero's journey. And the two undisputed giants of the cereal world were Kellogg's and Post. Major news from the breakfast. How would you like to come work for me at the resort? Oh, you hungry, little guy? Beetlejuice. It doesn't matter what he promises you. Once you learn to harness your emotions, the sky's the limit. Looks like it's time for another adventure. <laughs> Open the gates! And just wanted to quickly test out the internal Netflix. So you can see Netflix does support full HD with HDR and 5.1 surround sound. So you pretty much have full HD streaming across the board with HDR. Now let's change the source to HDMI and switch on that PlayStation 5. All right, so PlayStation 5 powered on. If we check out the video output signal, you can see it's 1080p at 60 hertz. And I just want to confirm that HDR is actually not supported with the PlayStation 5. So this projector does support HDR when you're using the internal apps, Netflix, YouTube, Prime, etc. You'll, you'll be able to stream in full HD with HDR, but when you connect a PlayStation 5 or a game console via HDMI, HDR is not supported. We're going to check out the projector settings. Now under focus you have autofocus, manual focus and advanced. If you go to advanced you have a few other options that you can activate. Now the next option is image correction. You've got auto keystone correction, manual keystone correction, you've got fit to screen, image adaption, re reset to default image and you've got advanced which includes auto keystone correction after movement and, and obstacle avoidance. Now I'm going to reset the default image to show you what it looked like. So you can see this is the default image at 100% with a three meter distance. It's uh, well over 100 inches and it overlaps my ceiling from the sides and the top. So there are a number of ways of fixing this. If we first of all try the auto keystone correction, 
and there you go. The overlapping image has been fixed by auto keystone correction. We've got fit to screen, which aligns the image within the screen like it did in auto keystone correction. You can actually zoom the image, shrink it down to fit if you wanted to do things manually. But again, auto keystone correction utilizes all of these features to give you the perfect image. You've got image repositioning, so you can reposition the image up and down slightly. So comprehensive image correction features, which work extremely well, um, even on just the auto mode. Now you've also got Bluetooth speaker mode. So when I press that, this device will turn into a Bluetooth speaker. Now the final option under projector settings is advanced settings. So when a person is detected, you can see the screen will dim. So it, so it says there on the screen, object obstruction detected. The projection brightness has been reduced to minimize eye discomfort. And as soon as I move away, the screen will become active again, full brightness. Now projection mode, so if you were gonna ceiling mount this, you have a number of options here. Front, front ceiling, rear and rear ceiling, or leave it on automatic. You've got one click dust removal. It will basically increase the fan speed to remove dust from the chassis. So that was all your projector settings, but also important is display and sound. So you've got picture settings and sound settings, which is definitely required in these projectors. So you can set the brightness, we have it to standard, that's eco, and then you can have custom, so you can manually adjust the brightness. You can turn it right down, or you can turn it all the way up. You also got some presets that you can play with. You've got standard, vivid, movie, game, and custom. So custom will allow you to fine tune things um, exactly to your personal preference. This projector does support 3D as well, so you can switch on 3D mode, and you can watch 3D movies on this. Okay, color temperature can be adjusted. You've got standard, warm, and eye care. And then you've got game mode for that ultra low latency. And under sound mode, again, you have presets. So we've got standard, movie, music, sports, custom, and you've got virtual surround sound on. Now you have a very interesting design. This is made from a combination of plastic and you've got aluminum alloy wrapped around the sides. Now on the front, you can see the lens and that is a quartz fly eye lens which is designed to enhance image quality. And next to it, you can see your TOF and CMOS sensors for your automatic image adjustment. On this side, we have nothing, but you can see it says Dolby Audio. And on the back of the unit, we have an HDMI port, USB 2 port, power socket, and we have an audio jack. And if we keep going, nothing on this side, and that brings us back to the front. And here is a quick look at the bottom of the projector. And you can see there is a tripod thread in the middle, so you can hook this up to a universal tripod, or you can even ceiling mount this thing. Now, size-wise, this is quite compact for a powerful laser projector. It's only 4.7 centimeters thick, and it weighs 1.2 kgs. So yeah, very nice, light, portable design. Now, inside the box, you'll find a user manual, a power cable, a power supply, and I'll give you a close-up of the voltage information. So this is basically a 120-watt power supply. You're getting a Bluetooth remote control, which has a built-in microphone for your Google Assistant. And you've got shortcuts for YouTube, Netflix, and Amazon Prime Video. Now this remote is powered by two AAA batteries, which are not included in the box. So there you have it, guys. That was my full test and review of the new Dangby Atom. Now, as you guys saw, brightness is impressive. General performance is great. You get the latest version of Google TV with Widewine Level 1 certifications. You can enjoy full HD movies with HDR and up to 180 inches, and it looks absolutely mind-blowing. The autofocus and the automatic image correction is one of the best I have tested this year. The built-in speakers are also very good quality, loud and clear, with good sound and speech separation. The fan noise was also on the lower side. I could barely hear the fan after long PS5 gaming sessions. So pretty decent cooling and even gaming on this projector was quite impressive with ultra low 20 millisecond latency. There is two caveats though. You don't get HDR through HDMI. So when you connect a game console like PS5, you're not going to be able to play with HDR. Also, this projector does not support 4K decoding. Now to sum this one up, here is my top performing video projector chart of 2024, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the latest projectors. And the projectors are ranked by projection quality and overall features. So as you guys can see, the Dangby Atom takes position six on this chart, and I've given it an overall score of 4.5 out of five. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure and of course completely free of charge. 
Bottom line, a pretty good laser projector offering a premium home cinema experience in a mini compact size with a few things to consider. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to see more of my latest and greatest unbiased tech reviews, hit the like button, sub to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.